Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of metal wall and roof systems. In this video, we will cover basic installation details pertaining to our Winlock series of profiles being applied over a solid substrate in a horizontal application. This is the standard base trim assembly for the ATAS Winlock system of panels. It is composed of two trims. The first one is the base flashing that helps shed water off masonry ledges and away from the building. The second trim acts as a cleat to attach the first panel. The base trim is being notched to make a 90 degree fold in an outside corner location. One inch is measured from the end of the base trim. Then using aviation snips, a cut is made where the bend in the base trim occurs. After the one inch cut has been made, a hand seamer is used to create a 90 degree fold on the face of the base trim. The same is done on the adjacent side of the corner. As you can see, the two trims will lap each other and it will ensure a clean installation. Remember to remove all masking from the trim before they are installed. Due to unlevel job site conditions, a level is used on the base trim to make sure that the trim is installed correctly. Trim should be fastened two foot on center with proper fasteners. The starter trim is then attached after the end wall condition, such as a corner post or J-channel, have been installed. The starter trim is then attached on the top of the base trim. In this video, the top of the leveled base trim is being used as the guide. It will ensure that the panels are installed correctly. If the starter cleat is not leveled, then the panels will be out of square and it will create aesthetic issues. For more installation details, please visit www.ataz.com.